I told you, now more Bill Squire. Got good news though, I just became an uncle, which is pretty cool. Eh, I didn't do anything. Your brother knocks up, knocks up some chick. Yeah, good job, Bill. But I'm pretty sure that my nephew is bulimic. Because after every time he's done breastfeeding, he just spits up all his food. Just binge and purge, binge and purge, binge and purge. And I was like, hey, buddy, you're a boy. You don't have to live up to the impossible standards that we set for women. But your mom could stand to lose a few pounds. I don't care. She's my sister-in-law. And it's weird having a sister-in-law because I found out that me and my brother don't have the same taste in women. Because I'm not attracted to post-op transvestites. I know, she didn't like that joke either. She got all mad and she's like, hey. I don't think that's very funny. I'm like, yeah, neither is your Adam's apple, but I didn't say anything. I still do things I did when I was a baby, though, like wear a diaper. Well, just at night. Because I'm not going to get up to go to the bathroom. That's just what the boogeyman wants, you know? You know, another good time to wear diapers when you go swimming? Yeah, because it swells up with water, makes your package look all big. <laughs> and girls are giggling, the guys are like, that's an awesome idea. Except for the brothers, you know, because uh, they can't swim. <laughs> I know it's a stereotype, but you guys relate, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I like, that. I like watching TV. I like that show CSI. Now they got like little CSI home kits you can use to solve the little mysteries around your house. Like what happened to the sock in the dryer? What are those leftovers in the back of the fridge? Who keeps pissing on the toilet seat? Turns out it was my sister-in-law. <laughs> I also like that show the World Series of Poker. Because they play it on ESPN, and in my opinion, that makes it a sport. But it raises the question, what's the next life-crippling addiction we're going to turn into a sport? How will we combine track and field events with drinking? Be outstanding events, you know, like the 100-proof dash. You know, you come out of the blocks, you do a few shots, you run a few meters, do a few more shots, and the lines start getting all squiggly. <laughs> Eventually, you just pass out, wake up the next day with a bronze medal. Laying next to some burly shot put girl, like, oh no. Oh, she looks like that comedian I saw last night. I think she's on fire. There'll be some other cool events like the, uh, the get hammer throw, the 40 by 40 ounce relay, and my personal favorite, the shot glass put. You just I don't really throw like that. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to punch someone in the face really bad? <laughs> but you can't, because they're a child. <laughs> so instead, you just whisper something awful in their ear. You're like, Santa Claus is dead, and it's your fault. <laughs> I actually have a fiance. And uh, she has three kids, and that's why I wrote that joke. <laughs> and I'm not really an angry person, but no one can make you mad like a child can. Like, if you want to get pissed off, and I mean just really angry, try and put gloves on a five-year-old. No, that's too far. That's too close. 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 That's too far. That's just put your hands in your freaking pockets. We're going to buy you some mittens. <laughs> And kids will do things that you never even thought of. Like, you, won't, you can't even believe that they did it. The other day, we were cleaning their rooms. Under the bed, we found a bowl of urine. I didn't even know what it was at first. I was just like, oh, at least she ate all her noodles. <laughs> oh, that's damn it. And she's got three girls. Three girls. And I don't know anything about raising kids, really. But I have a theory now. I think it is easier to raise boys than it is to raise girls 
because boys are going to do dumb shit no matter how good a parent you are. Seriously, I had amazing parents, but I still stuck my dick in a vacuum cleaner once. And if you ever do that, use the hose, not the spinny part. <laughs> That's just a little tip. <laughs> it is now. <sighs> Tell you what, I, I'm, I'm glad that I have a, a, a girl in my life now because I never did well with girls. I know, shocking. But... Uh, like, I, they misunderstand the things I try to do. Like, I got this one girl flowers once, and she freaked out on me. She's like, Bill, why did you get me flowers? I didn't even think of you that way. I didn't even think of you as a friend. You're like an acquaintance, a distant acquaintance, and I like things that way. And I was like, well, you know, it was Mother's Day. <laughs> and you're my mom. <laughs> And girls, I'm tired of one thing. I'm tired of you thinking that just because a guy is talking to you, that he is hitting on you. Listen, I'm a nice guy. I like to talk to people. After a show a couple weeks ago, I went up to these two girls, and I was like, hey, what's up? And they were like, married and married. <laughs> and I was like, rapist. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> I noticed this. There's a lot of pretty girls here tonight. Where you at, pretty girls? All right, I thought there was more than that, but whatever. <laughs> they got low self-esteem. Let's get these bitches drunk. <laughs> All right, my name is Bill Squire. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of the show, everybody. Find out more about Bill Squire at BillSquire.com. Coming up next, the Sierra Miss Local Comedian of the Week, Dan Swartout.